We've seen some stunning and almost eerie pictures over the last couple of days from smoke as it spread across the area, courtesy of wildfires burning in Canada. Here's an image you may not have seen yet. The view from space as the sun rose on that smoke this morning. The bright whites? Clouds. The pale color you see over the Midwest? That's the wildfire smoke, obscuring the sun on an otherwise clear day. And it's not just us. There's a huge portion of the U.S. dealing with this. Thick haze extends from Boston to New York City. Thinner smoke stretches all the way south to the border with Mexico. And while most of that smoke is aloft, it's also making it to ground level and affecting our air quality, also called the AQI. I spoke with an air quality expert about that. What you have to know with the AQI is that 100 is the level where unsafe starts to happen where where the late where the air is labeled unhealthy and that could be from ozone smog it could be from fine particulate matter or what they think of as soot uh it could be a number of other uh air pollutants as well yeah we're in the 80s and approaching 90s i think in northwest indiana they're actually you know going over the 100 level right now are there any impacts on health when the levels are at this spot yeah, we, when you hit the 100, uh, when you hit that level of 100, when you're exceeding federal air quality health standards, it's really at the point where people, especially with uh, uh, chronic diseases, lung and heart conditions, should really take it easy, stay indoors. So whether you're feeling the impacts of the wildfire smoke that's in place now, or you just want some day-to-day -day information on the air quality, I have a link for you. It's airnow.gov. It's the same stuff that I use. You can get that AQI number. You pop in your zip code, it comes right up for you, and there's even an option for you to get scent alerts when the air quality gets bad. Speaking of which, it is still awfully hazy out here, and I know you folks back in the studio have a little more information on when we can finally see the sky clear up again. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.